I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit. Let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Have some fun? Have some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Falling off the bone. <laughs> another beautiful day in the neighborhood and today we are going to pick out literally it's sweet pig day that's right it's pig day at Hayes's smokehouse we're going for some good cue y'all mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Peru that's in Illinois y'all <laughs> bon appetit let's eat you're cooking with Tino <laughs> and of course getting those exercises in you know it Eat, exercise, eat, exercise, eat, exercise, eat, exercise. Ooh, don't want to malfunction here. <laughs> oh, mm. Yesterday it was Captain's Cove, but they were closed. They were so busy over the holiday that they had to close for a day of rest. But they'll be open tomorrow. But today it's Hayes' Smokehouse in Peru. That's Illinois, y'all. <laughs> Bon appetit, let's see. Can I get a suey for pig day in Peru at the smokehouse? Oh yeah. Outside of Peru, in LaSalle, Illinois. <laughs> bon appetit, let's eat. You're cooking with Tittle and Miss Betty. Well, I got from Hazes. I got a full rack of ribs, because you know I wanted the ribs. The St. Louis from 
St. Louis Reds. St. Louis Reds. And then um, you get two sides. I got the veggie kebab. Got to eat your vegetables. And of course, I'm going to try their ham and Orlando mac and cheese. And for an appetizer, we got some candied bacon. Wow. Sweet. So fat, sugary bacon. <laughs> I, I won't get too loud. They might ask me to sing. <laughs> There we go. What did, you, what did you order? I got a ribeye, along with some baked beans, and a salad, and a cornbread muffin. I'm amazed how they really have put our history in a little hick chop on the set. I mean, it's not that hickish. No, it isn't. It's but beautiful. it is so nice to see our culture coming together and having so many people enjoy our music. The blues. The blues. About to check outside the game. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you're going to go to that whole mile gone. Range. They got a lot of nice girls. Huh? I'm racing. This is the number one sauce they said. And her daddy, somebody's daddy, called her baby. This is his baby sauce. And last but not least, this is the sauce that everybody wants. Bourbon sauce. A bourbon sauce. A little nip while you eat. <laughs> a little nip while you eat. Man, he is smoking that meat on It never hurts. It never hurts, he said. Have a nip while you eat. Real down home country blues boys up in here. Oh, I could eat some grits with this bacon. And some poultry. <laughs> mm. Mm. It sticks to your mouth. They make you order this when you look at it on the grill. Don't it look good? Oh my God. Bacon on the rack. Very nice. The bacon is delicious. You can actually watch your meal get cooked at Hayes' Smokehouse. Hey! Hi! <laughs> well, my ribs are good, and they say that you can tell good ribs by eating them without the sauce. <clears throat> Falling off the bone, y'all. So you know it must be good. I'm gonna try some of those sauces, bourbon and everything. Let's try the bourbon sauce. Just a little dab will do me. Nothing like having a nip with your ribs. <laughs> That's what it says, a little nip never hurts. That's right. There you go, Miss Titter. <laughs> no. A nip is good. Mm. Very good. I would visit them again too. Well, you know, we were about to get messy and get down. Bon appetit, let's eat. Just hoping your ribs are good like these at the smokehouse. In the sand. And of course, we've got a skewer of veggies, which I am all for. I'm not going to eat them right off the skewer. Mm. Nothing like grilled veggies. So good. Mushroom, zucchini, tomato, onion. I could just bite down on the score. <laughs> well, back to the barbecue. Ooh, sweet and spicy. You like that? Man? I think I hit pay dirt. 
steak look good. The beans look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think about it? So far, on a scale of one to ten, I'm thinking it could be about a seven. A seven? Okay. Of course, with the salad. The salad is terrific. I love that. Great beans are okay. And not like what I'm used to. I love grated onion, green pepper. The steak is perfect. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to I would definitely come back here again. Yeah. If the service is good. Yeah, the service is good. So what do you think about the steak? I said, I would come back here for the steak. Oh, okay, so it's good. Okay. Oh, very good. All right. And it's good. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for the taste. Ginger and juice. Yeah. Bring them the good and they look so good. I put all three sauces on my ribs. Mm. And they are so good. And I'm about to get down on that delicious salad. Didn't too much care for the mac and cheese, but I love salads. All right, y'all. I don't want y'all to see my face because it's full of sauce. Mm. Oh, what you doing over there? You're savoring the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right off the bone. That's a big girl bite. That's a woman bite. That's a senior bite. <laughs> Finger licking good. Okay, let's get down and dirty now. And as for that last piece of bacon, Mm. Oh, so good. Thank God for the pig. <laughs> and then we can eat them. <laughs> so good. I'm a little piglet today. Mm. dinner we're here at the captain's cove <laughs> you like that thank you and guess what I got a big old Bloody Mary captain's cove is right on the lakefront right across from Star Rock which everybody goes to and I have got me the big old Bloody Mary I don't know which way to taste it. You need a straw. There's one in here. It's berry. <laughs> you need one of these kind of straw. It's berry with a pickle. <laughs> wow. Cove for sunset is not bad. Bon appetit. Let's sip and drink at the Captain's Cove.
Scrooge's burgers are huge. Oh wait, yeah, we were. And yummy. And tasty. How'd you like that, Scooch? Well, they say that you only experience no, some exactly. things I've, I've, once in I've, your lifetime, and this is it. I've been a have a burger that was sensuous, tasteful, fulfilling, and made me excited. I want more. This is one shot eating where you get your vitamins, your proteins, your energy just by having all of this in terms of a full fulfillment dinner at a very modest cost. I'm excited. I'm going to really tell my friends to come here. This should be number 51 best hamburger place in the world in the United States to eat. That's all I got to say. And all I have to say is dead out. Very good. Scooches in Utica. Yeah, we had those big old chicken wings and that big fat overloaded burger. They were so good. And now, to top it off, my Bloody Mary. You're on the road again and cooking with Joe Tittle and Miss Betty. It's Scoogies. There you go. And I brought you each a bag here. Thank you. We love to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs> She's so nice. Bon appetit, let's eat. You're cooking with Tittle on the road again at Scooch's. Pepper Jack cheese, yeah. which I'm gonna indulge in. I have a grape. Speaking of grapes, we got a flight of wine coming. I'm trying the Cabernet Franc, the Chino Blanc, Chino Blanc, 
which is a special this month. And I'm also trying a boot. Yum, yum. Bon appetit, let's eat. We're enjoying the wine trails of Utica. Just recognize we have toothpicks to pick up the food. <laughs> but I thought it was finger food. So what kind of wine are you trying, Betty? Um, uh, you know, Grigio. Oh, that's the Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Well, I've got my flight. Cabernet Franc. The Sparkling Brute. And the Chenin Blanc. Mm. Making history. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. She's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this Cabernet Franc. Mm. Oh, that brood is good. Ooh. Brute. I S Brute. Brute. Mm. They must run out of water. They give you a half a glass. I saw that. I said maybe. Maybe a special water. Right. They never fill the glasses to the top. Not even water. Check out the water. Right. When I'm a big girl, I want a full glass. <laughs> uh, nothing like water. Oh, they've always done flights. We just used to come in and sip until we fall out. <laughs> Well, let me get busy enjoying my plates. Bon appetit, let's eat. We're going to enjoy our little fruit snack plate and uh, have some wine on the patio on a nice summer day in Utica. Bon appetit, let's eat. You're cooking with Tittle and Miss Betty on the road again. Ooh. called My Margarita. And look like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, this is my first pineapple margarita. For first I've pineapple? Never had, yeah, I've never had one before in life. My goodness, I, I don't know what I've been missing. <laughs> this is so good. It's it's delicious. Sugary, isn't it? But, uh, but hey, but, but you know, pineapple is so good for your digestive system. Of course, you know, with certain alcohol, it also stimulates and take down some of the, what they call acidity. So that's why I really like this drink. Well, now, it's been a few months since uh, you were going, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. Are you still for Hillary? You got it, girl. HRC <laughs> is, is my best friend right now. Because she is going to trump Trump. <laughs> HRC. She's got what it takes to trump Trump. And what is that? Trump and Trump. 
what is her biggest, uh, what do you think her biggest asset is with Trump? She knows more, been there, done that, and can tell him how to go, you know where, in a very ladylike manner. What do you think about Hillary as president and Trump as vice president? Uh, what, what planet are you living on? <laughs> I don't think that makes any kind of sense. What are you interviewing me for? Laughs? <laughs> Girl, get out of here. You're not a comedian, are you? Really? What do you think about Donald Trump? Scat back. I don't give him much thought. In fact, when I think about him, I, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> That's about the most realistic statement I've heard today. You know, I, I can't digest that, mm -mm, so I have to let it out. <laughs> I must say, I'm a little lost for words. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Uh, what do you think uh, Hillary Clinton and Vice President Bernie Sanders? You oh, you've that? already made him her Vice President? I mean, what do you think of that combination? It could happen. You know, anything is possible in their world. Politicians got another world, so I'm not even going to comment on that. Hillary. Wait and be prayerful, and then see. Okay. I like your your point of view. Yeah. Well, thank you, Miss Betty. Hey, here's to you, Miss Tita. <laughs>